Mikey Swords here. We're on our way to the Mud Bogs. Just stopped here at this uh, grocery store. Got Cameron riding shotgun. First time towing with my ambulance. We got a Skirpons Jeep on here and my Toyota. And they're pretty far forward, which was a big effing mistake because now, since we stopped, I just looked at this bumper and it is hanging on for dear life. Look at this thing. So this side's bent right here. And this side, I just crawled under here and look, the whole bracket slid down. That bracket right there slid down. So, so look at this disaster. And there's the trailer. So we were wondering like on the way here, these chains were dragging. Jeff jumped out real quick and just twisted them up while we were at a stop sign. And so we didn't really look, but apparently it's because this whole thing slid down. I, but Jeff's freaking out now. Like we're not gonna get there. He's like, call the tow truck. Cause you know, I got a tow truck at the dealership. What do you think we should do? I think you I should drive the Jeep. We can, I will drive one of the vehicles and follow. She's like, tripping. You drive the Jeep, legal, I'll drive the ambulance. The and one of us follow behind the other one and I'll follow the ambulance. Drive the Jeep. That's not a bad idea either, at least to get there. But then after we break shit. No, I'm not worried about it. I know how to fix it. So here's my plan. <laughs> here's my plan. Look, the only thing that's bent here is this this little bracket right here is bent a little bit. This one just slid down, which is the fact that this one slid down is probably why this one Stay bent. Tuned. Now look, we got a high lift jack here on Skirt Pond's Jeep because everyone with a Jeep has a high lift jack, you know? Is there so, jack in it? So my plan is to high lift jack this up. I'm gonna loosen these bolts up. See they're ovalized from the other side. See how they're ovalized this way? From the other side, they're ovalized vertically. This plate should be all the way up here, but it slid down. That's why it's all moved. But obviously we have way too much tongue weight. So I'm gonna back my truck up. I might even just flip it around. No, I'm just gonna back it up and I'm gonna back the Jeep way up and get all this tongue weight off. And I think we'll be fine the rest of the trip. Pretty good at jacking it. Okay. These men are freaking nuts. Is this even street legal? Not technically. Well, the inspection's out. Look at this. What the hell is going on over here? Can you believe this? Whose idea was this? Yours? No, you said it was old. you know if you have too much weight maybe you don't know i should tell the viewers though if you have too much weight on the back of the trailer then that makes it sway really bad that's why you have to have tongue weight i want to go You don't know how to start the Jeep? No. We will get there perfectly fine. I sipped some of it. Yeah! Get back, that thing might fucking go. No, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're not fine, he's fucking nuts. Right. So now we strap this truck down. We're gonna be fine. Wouldn't you rather want to put it on your bumper? Rip that control no. arm right off. No, the Is that the same up. wheel that fell off at Traverton last time? See, I do dumb shit like this all the time. Everyone else is freaking out. This is the type of thing I do on a daily. Jeff, you're not worried, are you? <laughs> Can you come up here and help me jack it? <laughs> no! Real quick. Oh, yeah, I just need one fine. pump, one good pump. Seriously, to Jack, let's come here. The only reason the left side bent is because the right side slid down. So we slide the right side back up, take the tongue weight off, and we're gonna be fine. I don't really think so, but all right. It'll 
work as long as the trailer ain't swaying. If the trailer's swaying, then we'll just have to pull over and pull the trucks forward a little bit. Yo, quiet on the set. Cameron, will you shut the Toyota off for me? Honey? Yeah. I'll fix these straps. Skirpon strapped this to his bumper. I don't think that's a good idea since last time we had this Jeep out filming, we ripped the bumper off of it. No, -uh. did you guys really? Flashback. Do the flashback, you guys. Flashback. What we have here is. A cavalier on fire. All right, let's see if you can pull it out of there, Durbin. Oh! Yes! Daddy, we're all gonna die. I know, dude. No sway bar. Let's see how this looks now. I mean, like it looks sketchy now. No, actually, that should be about right. What do you think, guys? It looks like it's gonna be a little light on the tongue now. But I guess I'll find out when we get in the highway and hit about 45, 50 mile an hour. That's when it's gonna shake if it's gonna do it. So here's the situation up here. This thing already slid back up when Jeff was jacking on it. Jeff jacked it so hard that it already slid back up. Good job jacking it, bro. I'm gonna grab some tools, see if I can tighten that, that up too. That was all me right there, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, dude, it's so loose. Is that thing jacked up about as high as you can get it? No, let's get another jack out of yeah, it. You gotta help me jack it because it's getting hard. Wait, that sounded really fucking weird. It's gonna take both of us. Really? Can't you get that by yourself? Neither can you. What? One more. It's all mangled. Man, I feel like such a I feel like that thing's gonna break and hit me right in my nuts. Defense. I never took this off of here. This was just bolted on. I haven't bolted up here to weld that uh, the hitch onto it, but that's it. So this was not technically my fault. I'm not taking this one, you guys. We're good, dude. When we get back, I'll slap some welds on that. Now we need to let that jack down. Well, how you know how to do it? that? No, I don't. Here, film me, and I'll right figure here. it out. <laughs> you don't know how either. I haven't used one of these for a long time. Might be it. Man operation. There you go. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> yeah, we don't know how to use this thing. Anyone know how to use this thing? Does anyone? Uh, um, we're gonna cut this part out. Jeep guys gonna be making fun of me. Troll alert! Leave comments about how dumb me and Jeff are for not knowing how to release the high lift jack and drop it back down. We're so dumb. Trust me, you'll want to comment and tell us how stupid we are. Shit, we're not used to jack. Well, that it. thing flipped down. I'm scared. I'm fucking terrified. That thing's gonna come out of there and hit you right in fucking nuts. I think this thing's supposed to slide down. Leave me a comment. Tell me how this thing works. <laughs> I know it won't help me right now, but it will help the channel. <laughs> <laughs> you can at least make fun of me for not knowing how this thing works. I mean, damn it. There I'm ain't just... no other movable parts. I'm about to just drive away. <laughs> I don't know how to use this fucking thing any more than you do. We're gonna have to look it up on YouTube. That's embarrassing. We're supposed to be making YouTube videos, not looking up YouTube videos while we're making YouTube videos. I'm gonna get the fuck out of the way. What are you gonna do? You ask too many fucking questions. Where's my fucking hammer at? We're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna look it up on YouTube. How to use a high lift jack safely. Thank this God. guy don't even have zoomed in shit. How is this number one? What a prick. That's exactly what we're doing. This thing's fucked up. Let me call Skirt on. It says Jack. Man, I got boob sweat on camera. <laughs> hey, have you ever used your high lift jack before that you got? There's a lever that you have to push to make it go either way. So look, if you flip 
this down. That it seems like that should drop down. Because it stays up. Flip it down. That thing doesn't really move. I really don't understand it. And then these little springs in here, like it really seems like those pins are supposed to slide. Oh, I need a beer. Eventually. All right, now we got someone that knows more about this jack here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. You gotta go up a little bit to go down. I know, but that thing has to be down, so. Now we'll go. Now, turn forward. It's gonna fucking trash this. I could back up, but it's gonna bend that. Yeah. How much is this ambulance? 4,600 pounds. That ain't that much. Uh, dude, I'm kind of scared. Yeah. If I'm scared, that's pretty bad. Turn the air ride back on. Wait, is it off? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that sooner? I thought the air ride was on. I forgot we shut it off. What was happening that you decided to pull up uh, over anything? The bumper was on this the ground. Side. Let's see if it'll drop now. It was just too much fucking weight, here, here, here. so we weren't getting it to go. No, we don't need it now. No, it was just so much weight we couldn't. We we weren't pushing down hard enough on it because it was so fucking heavy. Hey, oh, filmed my face looking stupid. Jackass. So what'd you learn today, Mike? To not trust a stock bumper on a New York City ambulance, and don't put too much tongue weight on it. And you gotta push down really hard on those things sometimes. I guess that's it. But look at how straight that is. Get a nice shot at it. Look at that thing. You're good to go, dude. It's I'm definitely not up. straight, but it's better than it was. Crisis averted? Yes. Look how high the chains are now. They were dragging. Now we got a couple inches here. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, boys, hit the road again. We're on a road now. 60. It feels pretty solid, but it's right around 60. It does start to sway just a little bit. I used to go to a drag strip up yonder. Up here. Oh, there's yeah? A, yeah, there's a drag strip up here. I used what to would you to. drag there? I had that hatchback Civic I used to race. I used to drag that thing. I don't think you drag track. that that often. I think you'd more like drag your balls across <laughs> the drag strip. <laughs> you'd be like, Walking down with his sack hanging out and, and dragging on the floor. To see the footage from the Diamond S Mud Bog, you're gonna have to go to the Tacoma Apocalypse channel, where Toyota trucks are built, not bought. Boogers. <laughs> and beat, not baby. <laughs> and if you like Cameron, but I doubt you do, but if you do, you can go to his channel. What's it called? <laughs> It's called Cam Zone. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> See you next time. Dad.